Hi, this is Nathan Stone with Olive IP. We're here to walk you through uh, how to change a SIM card on a standard LB1120 modem. This is our standard modem that we work with uh, for the majority of our customers. So if uh, you have to change this out for any reason, be that a SIM card going bad, uh, or you need to switch your carrier for any reason, uh, this is uh, kind of the process to do that. So the first thing that we're gonna do uh, you have your power light, you have your signal indicators right here. Generally, want, we want those uh, over three bars, but um, different things can work for different folks. Uh, and then this is your uh, Ethernet connectivity light, just stating that it realizes that there's a router or another device using it on the other side when you plug it in. This is your Ethernet port right here, so this would be connected to your wireless router or your device. And then you have a reset button, your power button, and your power plug here. So the first thing that we're gonna do is we're going to hit the on and off switch and turn off the device. Uh, this can also work by just unplugging the power cord like that. Now the next thing you're gonna do is go flip it over the bottom side. So you have a few things on here. So the first thing you have is just the device information here. Um, also useful for you is the password found right here. So if you ever have to access the password, or access the uh, inside of the modem for any reason, uh, you know where to find that as well. It is pretty small, so uh, be warned on that. Now, to change out the SIM card, we're going to open up this little panel right here. So just flip it up and over, and you'll notice there is a SIM card in there. It's held together by a little metal shielding. So you're going to want to uh, take your fingernail, pull that shielding down, then flip it up and over, just like that. Take the card, pull it out, and then um, we will provide a new SIM card for you. Take that SIM card, put it back in. You can see the orientation on it. You want the little uh, chunk that's taken out of it, the little wedge taken out at the top left. Flip that back up and over, click it up, and you'll be able to hear and feel it click in. After that, replace the, uh, the cover, turn back over, turn on the switch again, Give it about 45 seconds to a minute to power back on and we'll be good to go.